Well, uh, I have one question, uh, Dr. Satish. You know, uh, most of this remote sensing till now was happening uh, with uh, geostationary satellites. Yes, sir. So the type of cameras and other things that were being used were of a particular type. Now, what is the implication with the LEOs coming in a big way? I mean, the future of remote sensing would be LEOs. Yes, sir. So what, what is the implication on the tools that we are using for this purpose? In, in, in uh, tools in the sense, once we get the information from the satellite, sir, and when in all the domains, different maps will be prepared based on our needs. Sir. No, that, that's correct. But for uh, the satellite itself has got tools to, uh, tools like uh, maybe the special cameras to, okay. to, to monitor. Now, yes. uh, what is the difference in those between the ones that are used for the geostationary, which was the practice till now. And now uh, in future, it's going to be all Leo because uh, the resolutions would be better. And uh, so what, what is the change that has happened in this domain? So rapid change is going to be uh, not uh, in, uh, in the days to come, sir. But as of now, uh, we are not looking on this hardware component, sir. But uh, we as part of, uh, I mean, uh, application point of view, we are working, sir, on software. RGS. Once we, okay. uh, we uh, once it is got developed, no, we may go for knowledge transfer, sir. You also mentioned that uh, uh, you know identification of pollution uh, patches is uh, perfectly fine, but yes. how exactly is the corrective action taken for that? See, actually, there is a mathematical algorithm, sir, with uh, with combination of AI, sir, and artificial intelligence. By yeah. I mean, uh, with the help of uh, I mean, of, of formulas, <laughs> we can find out the what is exact the carbon stock, sir. We need to connect. Yeah, we this, can, uh, we can so find. A, yeah, I agree. We can find the spots where the pollution is maximum. But yes, uh, what is the remedial measure taken to reduce pollution in those areas? One uh, one remedial measure is sir, nothing but uh, we are. Uh, I mean. Uh, uh, plantation, afforestation. If we go for a good plantation, no, sir, as a I mean, a vegetation, soil, and uh, reservoirs are sinks of carbon dioxide, sir. If we are able to cultivate the plant rigorously in those areas, obviously, in the I mean, within a period of time, we can bring down the carbon concentration in that particular area, sir. No water there to uh, sort of ensure plantation. Is there any sir. alternative method for that? See, even there are certain species, sir, even without water, we can cultivate plants, sir. You know, by making minimum usage of water content, I mean, and then wetness, plants can grow up, sir. Through that, we can uh, overcome these carbon issues, sir. Oh, uh, for uh, this, uh, uh, you can say the precision agriculture, uh, the moisture yes, content GPS. of the soil is critical. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, uh, for, yeah, the pH value, the uh, you know, moisture content is important. Yes, uh, yes, how sir. can uh, the two be monitored with the help of the satellite imagery? Like uh, pH value, is it possible to do that? See, pH value, we, are, we, are, we can't uh, uh, mean, uh, estimate the pH of soil with the help of satellites. Sir. In that uh, particular constraints, if fire plants are not grown well, if we feel that the pH is most, I mean, effective, and we need to go for lab tests, sir, that's it. Otherwise, we can go for chlorophyll concentration, and we can go for assessment of plant how it is growing by I mean, one after one checking out, one after one checking of different parameters. We can able to find out the pH is really effective, sir. Otherwise, directly we can't find out the uh, exactly the pH is lacking in that particular with the help of satellite image, sir. We need to grow for ground survey. That's it. Yeah, but uh, moisture content is possible. Moisture content is possible, sir. Obviously, we need, we can find out the moisture content. What is the technique used for that? I mean, the resolution, sir. Resolution of the satellite images. We can find out the moisture content, sir. Uh, whether moisture is uh, good or not. If that FFC is there, sir. False color composites. Uh, once we are able to retrieve the data of satellite images, we can find out, sir. Once we got the, I mean, the information of that uh, FFCs. We can easily find out, sir. By I mean, by framing algorithms. 
Now, uh, through satellite imagery, it's possible to uh, monitor the quantum of groundwater as well. Yes, sir. Quantum ground water. water. So, uh, we can't. Uh, yeah, uh, quantum with the uh, depth at which the groundwater is available. Like you can also see what are what have been the water planes, so that uh, you know a particular type of agriculture can be encouraged in a particular area uh, yes. to uh, decide on the arable land, etc. So uh, again, uh, uh, I mean, since now uh, the overall technique is improving with Leo's coming in. Yes, so sir. how much improvement there has been in the recent past over uh, what uh, we have been doing for the past so many decades? We can predict the quantity of uh, groundwater, sir. That's it. We can't uh, give exact the uh, quantification of groundwater, sir. We 